Now more than ever, people are weighed down by outrageous instability. Not only economically, but emotionally, mentally, and physically. What do you do when everything is unreliable? How do you feel when you have no certainty at all? How do you respond when everything around you that seemed eternal has crumbled or even disappeared? What's the mountain you're facing today? There's no easy way to respond, but we are all travelers journeying through chaos and order. Psalm 121, also known as the Traveler's Psalm, is something I have found to be a cornerstone in overcoming uncertainty. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. He who watches over you will neither slumber nor sleep. It might be easy to think that the psalmist was emphasizing the mountains. At that time, it wasn't uncommon for thieves and marauders to hide and wait for an unfortunate victim. The hills were seen as a place of anxiety, distress, and threat. But the psalmist doesn't focus on the dangers. Instead, he was calling attention to the maker of the mountain. And that's because the direction one lifts their eyes to look reflects the disposition of the heart. Although the mountain was a place of danger, it was also a place where God's protection could be made manifest. The Hebrew word shamar conveys the idea that God watches over his people as a watchman watches over the city or party of travelers. This man was so focused on his keeper that he barely names his dangers. He knew that if he looked elsewhere for help, it would be in vain. A watchman would take care of the city as the inhabitants slept. Even in seasons of instability and uncertainty, people could rest trusting that the keeper would watch over them. Today, you can also surrender your anxieties your worries, your insecurities, and your need for control, and rest peacefully. Because your watchman never sleeps. So let me ask you again, what's your mountain? Maybe it was in that mountain that you lost everything this year. It might seem easier to place our trust in things that can't deliver than to totally surrender our need for control. It takes a lot of courage to trust in your keeper and say, I will look to the one who is bigger than the mountain because he is in control of my life.